Hey guys, in this video, we're going to create these three iOS UIs in Figma. Now we're also going to leverage an amazing 3D illustration kit from LS Graphics, which you can find in the link in the description. Now I also want to remind you that I recently launched a free UI UX design course on how to become a designer and how to get started in this field. And I'm sharing my over eight years of experience, as well as a lot of source files from this uh, YouTube tutorials and uh, you're going to have access to all of it for free. So feel free to check it out uh, and uh, without further ado, let's get started. Let's create uh, our very first frame, which is going to be an iPhone 11 Pro Max and uh, let's zoom in and uh, we're going to rename this to one and we're also going to apply a rectangle as the background. Now let's make this rectangle a color of blue. We're going to add it a linear gradient in order to give it a little bit more of a visual interest. So let's bring it over here. Let's maybe play around with some colors and I always like to create like some sort of different color variations in the gradients or maybe like one is lighter, the other one is darker. And uh, all right, so far, I think we're in a good position. We can always tweak this uh, later. So now that we don't want uh, this uh, rectangle to move uh, or interfere with our design, so we're simply going to lock it in place. And uh, let's go ahead over here and let's write uh, the text. Uh, And we're going to use a Montserrat for this one. So it's already selected. As you can see, we have, uh, or actually let's change this to story. Let's make uh, this uh, headline a little bit bigger and also bold. All right, so far so good. Let's make this uh, smaller. And uh, we're going to write uh, experience for yourself. All right, so far, so good. Let's center this, let's make it smaller and uh, let's uh, make this uh, regular. We're also going to increase uh, the line height uh, just a little bit. And now that we have our base, uh, what we're going to do next is uh, we're essentially going to create uh, the different sections. So let's uh, go ahead over here. Let's round it up just a bit. And uh, we're going to essentially add uh, some uh, elements, which are going to be profile pictures for the very most part. So let's use 40 by 40. Let's round it up all of the way. We're going to make this white and uh, this one is going to stay here for the time being. Uh, and uh, maybe let's just copy this text. Actually, let's go over here. Let's copy the text, let's bring it above. And let's add some uh, a name right here. Let's make this one darker. I'm going to write uh, something like uh, co-founder. Let's make this one light gray. All right, so far, so good. And uh, now let's copy this one as well. Let's bring it over here. Let's make it uh, 22 by 22. Let's add a stroke around it. Okay, that will do 1.5 and just a, a tiny bit lighter. All right, I think we are in a good position so far. Bring this guy here and let's uh, 
copy and paste this uh, just a few times. Actually, let's bring it up. I'm going to make it uh, also just a bit smaller. And let's center all of these. Let's center it one more time. Let's bring this one here, this one here, and this one. Yeah, it's going to stay over here. All right, so far so good. Now we're going to apply different uh, opacities to these ones. And we're also going to go ahead and actually um, basically add the images. So unsplash. And as you can see, we have uh, this uh, library. So let's go on portrait. Let's click on the first one. Let's use the crop feature so we can crop it down just a bit. Then let's select the second one. I think this one is okay. This one is not as centered, but I think it's it's looking uh, good. So, all right. And let's find the one with a little bit, uh, yeah, like the fact that it has a little bit uh, of uh, a different uh, color and composition. Just want to add some uh, some variety, and that's pretty much it. All right, <clears throat> so I think we're in a good uh, position right now. Now, what we're missing is uh, the three dots. Let's make them smaller. Center them, center again. And there we go. All right, now let's create uh, a button. So we're going to bring it down over here. We're going to add some text. So let's bring it down here. Let's write continue. Let's bring it up. And we're going to make it uh, bold. And let's select uh, a color which uh, could work. And uh, yeah, maybe a color like this uh, could actually uh, do the job. All right, let's add some sort of like um, lines around. And let's add, uh, let's increase this one, the line height, or actually the, the stroke. Let's add a little bit of gaps in between, or let's go even more than that. Six and six. Let's bring this one down and let's make it like, yeah, 10% opacity. Something around those lines, but I don't really like the fact that it's literally going uh, around this. So I don't want it to interfere like too much. So Maybe something around these lines. Huh. Actually, not too sure about it anymore. So let's do one thing. Let's just bring it up here. Let's bring this guy up. And uh, Okay, so as you can see, I'm just uh, experimenting. I don't want the lines to interfere essentially with, uh, with the main composition. So let's just keep it like this uh, for the time being. Maybe we're going to come uh, 
update afterwards, but let's leave it as it is. Let's make the drop shadow smaller over here. And also want to add a linear gradient just to make this a little bit different. And uh, we just a little bit less of drop shadow. And a little bit more of blur. All right, so this is working so far. Now let's go ahead and let's create a <clears throat> duplicate over here. I'm going to get rid of these elements. And now we're going to leverage some of the symbols in this amazing UI kit from, or actually 3D illustrations kit from LS Graphics. So let's go over here, let's add this. So, this one is looking really, really cool. Um, as you can see, they fit also in uh, different color backgrounds, but you know, of course you always need to be mindful of uh, the colors which you're actually using. And there we go. And let's try some uh, other ones. Um, there, there's like so many in this uh, illustration kit where I'm actually wondering which one because they could all potentially work uh, really, really well. Uh, maybe this one is going to be an interesting uh, <clears throat> in the overall composition. And uh, what we probably want to do is also to add some sort of like illustrations behind, uh, you know, like a lock icon or flat ones, stuff like that. And actually, I'm, I'm really liking how this is uh, standing out compared to the, to the background. So maybe I, I would revisit this one as well with uh, something which is more on the, the bright side. So let's have a look over here. And actually the characters look <laughs> really, really cool. So Maybe let's try this one or this one here. So let's make this one smaller. And I'm going to bring the main character right here. As you can see, this uh, is looking oops, pretty interesting. Let's bring this one here. So this one also looks uh, really good and uh, maybe even better than this one. This one stands out uh, a little bit more. But maybe for the time being, uh, I'm just going to go with uh, um, this one's here. So let's get rid of uh, this other illustration. And uh, I'm just going to try and uh, play around with, uh, with some concepts. Maybe this is, is going to be interesting, maybe, maybe not. Actually, let's bring this inside the frame. But it's all uh, an experimentation process. So you can't really, like unless you create a design previously, don't really know what's, what's actually going to work. So let's go over here. Let's maybe add some, uh, some circles, some elements. We're also going to leverage the nuclear icons in just a moment in order to find some, uh, some further icons, which could help. And let's go ahead over here. Let's write in lock. And as you can see, we have a bunch of uh, different icons. We want to go with something around these lines and try and just mimic the same uh, uh, the same icon in order to maintain the theme. And. Uh, yeah, will be pretty much it when it comes to this one here. Maybe let's just grab one of these. Uh, 
Uh, let's try and make it even lighter, and bigger. Let's see if that works. Actually, I will, I will still keep it the same as the other ones. So as you can see, you can add some uh, uh, dynamism to the composition in a quick way by adding some uh, some elements in the background, just like this. And um, now let's do the same also for this other one. So I'm going to bring this one here. And we're going to add some uh, other elements actually one thing I want to try is uh, to add some of these uh, faces so that we can uh, essentially maintain the same theme uh, actually too many <laughs> of his face maybe it's and go with this one. Okay, so maybe this was a good idea, maybe not, but uh, we just need to give it a shot and, uh, and just try some uh, some different ideas. Then of course it really depends on uh, what you're trying to communicate at that moment, as that uh, obviously is going to have uh, a big impact on uh, the decision making of uh, all of this. Ideally, you, you always want to keep the consistency between uh, what you're creating and um, the final outcome. So yeah, that's just uh, the general rule of thumb. Let's add some some of these elements right here. Maybe instead of the face, we're going to use another symbol. Um, let's go with this one. Mm, actually too many hands <laughs> let's uh, let's try something different this one's looking really cool so probably let's just go with that all right so your personality then we're going to essentially um, close this one up Now let's center this. And I'm going to add some lip syntax over here. All right, so pretty much uh, got it. Hope uh, you enjoyed uh, this uh, tutorial. And I uh, want to remind you that on my channel, I have over 400 videos on UI tutorials and things of that nature. So feel free to check it out if you're interested in that. And I'll see you in the next video.